you got to get in a stand, tell me how you got to pull the trigger on the gun. That was a simulated dry fire drill without actually telling you guys what we were doing. When you do dry firing at home, um, number one, who knows what dry firing drill is? Who knows what dry firing is? Fire, fire, fire without ammo. Right? What's the purpose of it? Somebody else. Why do you want to do that? Trigger. trigger control. What she said? To perfect your trigger. Your trigger. Control. Control. Your trigger pull. Okay. You were saying something up front? Oh, um, to make sure that it works properly. You want to dry fire, make sure the, the action and everything in your firearm is working properly. The primary reason that people do dry firing drills is like uh, what was said, is to perfect your trigger pull. You want to get the gun to when you're pulling the trigger, you're not doing this. You're not doing this. You're not doing this. You want to get to the, when you pull the trigger, the gun looks like this. Nothing moves but the, the trigger. Nothing moves but your finger pulling the trigger. Now, generally, a lot of guns can dry fire, but how do you know if it's safe for your firearm to do dry fire drills? How would you know that? The manual manual. Perfect. Manual. Recovered everything. You have to read your manual to find out if your gun is dry fire safe, you can call it. Okay? Most modern firearms are going to be dry fire capable, meaning that you can go ahead and dry fire it without destroying the camera or destroying the firing pin or the inner workings of the firearm. Alright? So read your manual to find out if you can, but generally most modern firearms, uh, especially semi-automatics, um, are where you can dry fire the gun. Safety precautions. When you dry fire, number one, this is on exam too. Number one, you want to find a, you want to designate an area in your home for dry fire. That uh, room in your home should be away from all ammunition, so you can't have any ammunition inside that room. It should be not in the general place where you store your gun or store your ammunition. Okay? So you want to have a room or location in your room where you're going to do dry fire. There's no ammunition with you in the gun around you whatsoever. You want to remember when we talked about uh, shooting, you want to know your target and what's beyond it. The rules uh, for using a firearm, we talked about that jointly. Using your firearm and storing your firearm. When it comes down to using your firearm, and this is using your firearm, you want to do what? You want to know your target and what's beyond it. So whenever you're pointing your firearm, you should know your target and what's beyond it. So if I was to take this direction right here, wouldn't be so good because what's out there is the hallway. The guys just walk past, might be saying, oh my God, they're pointing the gun at me. So I might want to take this direction as my safe, safe direction. Because there's a wall, there's another wall, another wall, right? So you got to know your target, what's behind you. When you're doing your dry fire, either you want to do that from a sitting position or a standing position, all right? You want to simulate yourself holding your firearm, having a proper grip, having a proper stance if you're standing up, and you want to do the, go through the whole procedure of sight alignment, sight picture, putting your finger on the trigger, and pulling the trigger in a slow, easy, easy